Hey everyone, we're so excited to share some apps and some websites that we use that you can use also to find some dry camping and some boondocking spots. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss the info we're about to give you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Daniel. I'm Jennifer. And we are Cherish, Cherish the, the journey. journey. Today, we are going to be talking to you about free campsites. That's right, I said free campsites. How, you might ask? Glad you asked. Actually, so there are a bunch of apps and websites out there that we're going to be talking about today. The first one is, you might have heard about it. It's called The Dirt. It's an app. It's a website also. There's a free version, so completely free. Or you can go on and get the pro version. Some of the perks of getting the pro version is gonna be camping discounts. So they partnered with different campsites and things of that nature. You can get up to 40% off your campsites in certain locations and you have to go on their website to find out which ones they are but there's at least a thousand sites on there across the nation and check them out also what I love about the pro version is that the offline so you can actually download the maps so if you're in a certain spot and you want to know about that location, you can download it and now you have your GPS guide you to that location and it'll show you exactly where you need to go. The other thing is you get to plan trips. So you actually have a built-in trip planner so you can go from one site to the other and plan your whole trip out and that's included in the pro version as well. So it's a really great benefit, especially if you're starting out in RV life or even if you're just weekending and you're doing an extended week, whatever the case may be. So we're gonna be definitely taking advantage of that app a mm -hmm. lot. Yes. So the other <laughs> thing is finding, fr finding free camping spots and you can do it with the free version of the Dirt app. There's limited data there. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the good benefits of getting the pro version as well. And then also they have camping gear discounts. So they also have up to 40% there as well. You can get day packs, um, all, just all sorts of things, maybe camping gear, um, tents, whatever, they've partnered with as well with manufacturers and to get give you those discounts. So we have a pro version, mm -hmm. we love it. I've been going through there just exploring the, all the things we want to go to, all the places we want to go to. Yeah. So you can actually get a free seven day trial and you can get really great benefits there. And all the other websites that we're gonna be talking about in this video tonight, we will make sure to drop a link in the description below so that way you can go on there and just click right on that link and it'll take you right to any of these sites that we're talking about tonight, so. Yes. So the next one that we've used is freecampsites.net. Now this is a completely free website. Uh, it's just, put together by a group and it's everybody goes on there to add different pinpoints mm -hmm. and if you have a favorite spot that you like to go to and you want to share that then you can actually share that on the website it'll ask you some questions it also one of the benefits is tells you what's the best cell signal in that area? So is it Verizon? Is it AT&T? Is it T-Mobile? 
What do you go? What do you guys use for cell service? Give us a chat down in the comments below. So. So, if you're full time, or even if you're just going for a weekend, weekend warrior, or even if you're part time, um, that's great to know because you probably have to take work along with you, mm -hmm. and if you can't work in your camp spot, then you can't be there. So that's great information to be look look through first prior to heading out. So that way, if you have to take work with you, you know whether it's a spot where you're gonna get good cell service or not. When we go dry camping, boondocking, that's mm -hmm. out in the <coughs> middle of the nature, it's a free site. But it's going to be first come first serve because it's out in the middle mm -hmm. off of the forest roads so we always go and look towards the u.s forest service website mm -hmm. to make sure one that our area is open for dispersed camping or if there's a spot if there's maybe a actually designated camping spot a hosted site mm -hmm. where there's actually a camp host there um, not necessarily free but very discounted rate so uh, most of them if it just has vault toilet or and water available by the camp host or maybe there's a just a, a spigot or something that you can get water and bring it back to your campsite um, those are twenty dollars a night, typically ranging. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still very inexpensive to go and spend the weekend, or even if you wanted to do an extended stay there, um, very cheap. You know, so I think so. Mm -hmm. um, but also, the Forest Service website does show a lot of other campsites that you don't have to um, pay, pay for for it, they don't have a host there but it's just a site it's just a designated site that they've said hey this is a place where you can actually go and it's a nice area or just go find a spot off of a forest road mm -hmm. and that's kind of what we love about our setup right now mm -hmm. is that's <coughs> where we go is just off of the forest roads particularly up in the pine top, pine area, strawberry pacing, um, up on the rim. So we go to uh, spots off of Forest Road 300 mm -hmm. and they have tons of places. That Forest Road, actually if you tra travel from 300 from one side to the other, it's about 26 miles. Nice drive, it goes all along the rim and We'll and there's a ton of camping spots throughout that 26 mile stretch of road yep. um, off 300. Yes. So. A couple lakes up there as well. Mm -hmm. Potato Lake. No Lake, I believe, Null, is up there. No Lake mm -hmm. is up there as well. So, very popular spot to go to up in the uh, summertime here. A lot of people go up there to escape the heat. Mm -hmm. And another, another way to find dry camping or boondocking is something my husband Daniel and I do is we just take a drive. Sometimes we just want to get out, get out of the house, um, you know, go check out scenery. And so we'll just drive um, up to Payson is normally where we go. And we'll just drive around and check out new spots that we haven't been to. And sometimes that's the best way to find a, to find a new spot or even to find out where all of the boondocking spots are. Um, and it's a fun way for us, at least I, am I right in that? Yeah. It's a fun way for us to, and just kind of be able to take a drive and enjoy being in the car together and things like that. So that's another option too, if if anybody is open to that. Yeah, yeah, just go out, take a drive, and like she said, mm -hmm. just explore the area. Mm -hmm. So maybe find find a new spot that you've never been to. That's what we're trying to do right now is just venture out of our comfort zone and find some new spots that we would like to see. The last thing that we want to share with you is an app called Free Roam, and this is similar to um, the Dirt or Free Campsites, but Free Roam actually shows you 
more or less the like it's in the name free sites but also it also gives you spots for camping and where all the campsites are at one of the spots I wanted to share with you as well is a place called Upper Tonto Creek and that has a very small campsites I would say probably 12 sites maybe maybe less um, but they're kind of spread out so it's nice it's kind of elevated so you drive up on a little hill um, and there's one site that you drive actually go through and you can go and get up on a hillside mm -hmm. so that's kind of nice views and everything there but what you can do there is actually go hike as well there's a nice hike Horton Creek goes along the way there so we're always looking for hikes in the area that we stay in one of the apps that we use it's called all trails so that is they have a free version the free version is actually pretty nice if you're just wanting to find stuff but again if you want the pro version then what the pro version gives you is you can actually download them download the map and then you're able to just use your GPS on your phone and make sure that you're following the path so it's a nice feature mm -hmm. that they give there so anything else that you can think of I don't think so I think we covered every everything if you guys have any questions or comments um, please put that down below and we will we will respond to you we'd like to know your thoughts um, something maybe that we didn't cover that you are thinking of yeah. um, anything like that so just go ahead and drop that below and um, make sure that you hit that like button because yep. that does help us um, also subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you are notified each time we release a new video so next week you'll want to come back and watch our next video we are actually going to be doing um, a checklist not just an RV checklist but a checklist for when you go camping things that are important to have and how that what that looks like and how that happens we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we hope that you learned a lot from it and got some new information out of it um, like I said if you did please come leave a comment below give us a big thumbs up mm -hmm. and we will see you guys next week remember to always cherish the journey you're on cherish the moment that you're in and remember to make time for the important things in life like your family and your very close friends. Yes. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye. Hey everyone, we're so excited to share um, camping spaces spots with you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to say. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the spots we wanted, I wanted to say is we all uh. hey everyone welcome back to the channel i'm daniel i'm jennifer we are and enjoy the journey <laughs> wow <laughs> wow we were just watching them <laughs> uh, that'll be a blooper yep <laughs> okay